What's happening? It's your boy Fredo, man. I'm in Charlotte right now. Prestige just got me suited up. You heard me? If you ain't suited, we're Prestige, you're losing. Let's get it. Yes, That's sir. It. So if you haven't heard by now, then you probably ain't truly been tapped into the channel. But that man TG Commas and the bank man, Fredo Bang, they got a song out, man. They got a song that they did together that's been highly anticipated and we all been waiting on it. But before we get into this snippet and before we get into anything, make sure you drop a like, make sure you comment, let me know how you feel, ring the bell icon and turn post notifications on all. Let's make the likes match the views. We have still yet to accomplish that feat, but I know we can make that happen. Flow, man, I'm with the blue shirt. If you guess how much this is, I'm going to put that on you. <laughs> what you thought I was about to say? I'm going to give y'all something negative. <laughs> wildin', wildin', ain't he? But I'm cool, man. We got that man, TG Commons and Fredo Bang, like I said. And the first part of the snippet was played by TVG Osama. And it was utilized as a shiggity towards the opposition. Now, the song definitely was shiggity's at the opposition they diss kd in the song in my personal opinion now like i said that's alleged we can't take that as facts it's, it's my point of view you know what i'm saying and this is all for entertainment purposes and then there was also shiggity's at the whole opposition side so y'all check this out <laughs> Them boys did that, man. You know what I'm saying? They definitely got to it and got the feature going, man. And y'all see, Jolo is the one that shot it. I'm sure that the beat was probably produced by B Easy. You know what I'm saying? Probably got DJ Chose in there. And one of uh TG Comics producers as well. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sure it was like a complete joint project, which is always a great thing to see. But y'all see all the shiggities that was definitely thrown in that one, you know what I'm saying? And uh they was getting mightily disrespectful towards the opposition, you know what I'm saying? If you know, you know, we ain't gonna really too much point them out. Now, I do want to say this, man, because these boys is playing as far as the actual song being released, man. You know what I'm saying? Like fans and supporters, man, we've been waiting for a little minute to see what's going on with this issue and the full situation, man. I know TG Commas came out like two, two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, and asked if, you know, everybody wanted him to drop this video. And it never came... You know, he never did nothing about it. Never came to fruition. Haven't dropped the audio, nothing. And we see they got the cover art right here. So they could have dropped the audio without the visuals right now. Then waited on the visuals. Well, I'm probably sure that they expect this one to take off. You know what I'm saying? So they probably want to do audio and visuals. But man, don't be don't be teasing though, family. Drop the video. You know what I'm saying? If y'all going to drop it, drop it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know this is something that's highly anticipated. We all want to see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And, and also, in my opinion, this puts to bed that overall situation that one YouTuber tried to upload about TG Commons and say that, you know, he pretty much dissed Fredo and said that, you know, it's all about the bag. It's the music industry. No, that was not what that snippet was directed towards. That snippet was directed towards 
what was asked of him, which was, would he do a song with NBA Youngboy? So that created this whole fiasco to where people believe that TG Commas dissed Fredo after doing a feature with him. No, he did not. He said that he would do a feature with NBA Youngboy or anybody else. You know what I'm saying? This is the music industry. It's about a bag. It's about connecting to grow each other's fan base. See, TG Commas understands, you know, the actual way to elevate, which is, you know, connecting, networking. That's what it's about. If you don't network, you will not make it to that elite status. Like even YB did that to get up there. You know what I'm saying? He did features with multiple different artists. You know what I'm saying? We all know we can go review that. He done did features with Scotty Kane, Young and Ace, so on and so forth. Y'all know, you know what I'm saying? Just did a feature with Lil Nas X. But y'all know. And next up, we got that man Fredo Bang. As Fredo Bang pretty much released footage from his concert and whatnot. The concert that he did down there in Charlotte, North Carolina. You know what I'm saying? So y'all go ahead and check this out. <laughs> As y'all can see, that man Fredo Bang was turned up at the concert and also went at his homie. But he also dropped this message to Lil Yoshi and said, Free Yoshi. That's all with the gorilla emoji. So as y'all can see, that man Fredo still getting to his bag, doing his thing, and also missing his partner and whatnot. But then then next up, we got the leader of the bleeders. Once again, that man TG Commas, as you know. The young man let it be known that, you know, his strive for greatness is a hunger that he cannot feel right now. That he probably won't be feeling for the next, you know, maybe five to ten years until he really is satisfied. As, you know, he pretty much puts up, you know, his tribute to True Bleeder. And then in the next video puts up Kevin Gates video to which, you know, he captions it and uh, adds Kevin Gates and says, well, first he said, that another million views with the blood hashtag long live them bleeders you know this stuff colossal at kevin gates you duck and wreck i got a bag for you let's work with the star i don't want nothing for free you know what i'm saying basically just telling gates like look i'll pay you for a feature i don't need it for free just come show me that love big dog you know what i'm saying been watching you coming up you know what i'm saying and you one of my goals, you know what I'm saying? You're one of my goal features that I got to knock down and knock off, you know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get in that lab. Let's get in that yo, and let's cook up some heat for the street. That's what he telling Kevin Gates, man. Let's make it happen, you know? Come on, big bro. Go ahead and do this for me. And I would say, Kevin Gates, we know you, and we know how you get out. And your track record is completely solid. Kevin Gates always throwing the alley-oop to an up-and-coming artist especially from his own city but it don't matter man he done launched so many careers man if you look at it rod wave uh he gave mo3 more exposure even though mo3 was already on but that last song with mo3 that was a heavy hitter you got gang 51 june which was which is his own artist now but at the time was it just somebody that he seen on say cheese and decided you know he wanted to tap in with him because he liked his music you got fl dussa you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. The list goes on and on and on. Fredo, man, come on, bro. We, we we can go all day, you know what I'm saying, if we did this. But just know that the big general, Kevin Gates, is one of those ones that would definitely support and tap in with the youth, especially from his own city. So we got to be expecting this. But let's go ahead and move on, family. And next up, we got that man, Seven Hardaway. And Seven Hardaway relays a message in the penitentiary to Lil Yoshi as he says you only do two days when you go in the day you go in and the day you come out peanuts to an elephant free nickel you know what I'm saying giving his 
young homie some words of encouragement, letting it be known to him, like, look, the only days it's going to matter is when you first go in there and the day that you go out. So only think about the day that you coming out as soon as you walk in there. Don't worry about all the extras in between. Just it's going to pass. You know, them calendars, they start to fall quickly once you get into a flow of things. And you already been behind the walls for a little second. So it's just going to speed away, man. That time go faster once you hit that pen coming from that parish or that jail. That parish and that jail is a lot slower. Now, once you're in that, that semi-freedom where you get to move around, you know what I'm saying, and walk that yard, work out, go to classes and do stuff like that, that time starts to shed a whole lot quicker, you know what I'm saying? Freely Yoshi. But let's go ahead and move on to this last part. And last but not least, we got a situation that was sent to us by a family member. You know who you is, brother, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate you. As this is TQ, Boosie's brother, as you know, he pretty much responds to the Young Blue situation. And basically, you know, he gives his thoughts on everything that went on. You know what I'm saying? To what she says, this, this basically right here is Boosie's artist, you know, everybody that was signed to Boosie. And he says, these are just the ones I remember. Some of these dudes, some of these dudes should have been getting a bag. But show me where Boo, as a CEO, invested in their projects released their projects or took them somewhere stop the cap also peep who i sign tell the truth is going to come out anyway hashtag if you know then you know then he writes boosie's quote up there at the top where boosie said on vlad i could have took him anywhere you know what i'm saying and then like puts the little slant with boosie but the names consist of number one quick and that was my boy, man. Quick and money bag. Money bags number two. Them hey, they was they was tough, man. Hey, they was tough. Quick and money bags is tough. But then you got number three, which is juicy. Number four, at one lit cam. Number five, ATI keynote. Number six, D Rogers. Number seven, OG Dre. Number eight, G D Gotti. Number nine, Aunt G, Boston White Boy. Number 10, Blurry. Number 11, Trey Killer. Number 12. Wavy, number 13, Tycho, number 14, SBE, number 15, Chai Town Tay, number 16, Tootie Raw, number 17, Iviana, number 18, Moose, number 19, BBE AJ, number 20, Trail Tony, Michael Unofficial, TQ, uh, number 21, B Will, TQ, number 22, Lee Banks, number 23, Young Blue, then number 24, almost Mo3, you know what I'm saying? And like he almost got T Rail as well, so that's one to look into. You know, I heard talks about him trying to get Yellow Beezy in there before that situation, but you never know how much is cap and how much is actually real. You know what I'm saying? Now the thing is, man, um, it's like what I was saying. See, TQ is basically doubling down on what I was saying that Boosie has never taken somebody's career to that next level. So Young Blue did what was best for him. Boosie has never made a star. Now there are some names that are notable if you rock with the Trill and your T movement at the time or with the Boosie movement, even though Boosie is still in association with Trill and T. A lot of y'all just don't know that. That's lesser known. Trill and T still pumps his music, promotes his music. He still got Trill around in a situation. They still making money off of him. He still signed with them, so don't get that twisted. But on, on the cool though, family, y'all got the game messed up. See, y'all think I be trying to bash Boosie, and I don't. I'm trying to look out for Boosie. See, I look at Boosie like a big brother. I told y'all that before. Boosie was there when I ain't have nobody. When I was out, you know, trying to figure it out, you know what I'm saying? When I was out stomach growling, don't have a place to lay, you know what I'm saying? And I got to do what I got to do to make a meal. You know what I'm saying? When I got to do what I got to do to make sure that I got some bread in my pocket. You know, when the homies was only one to crash out and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? When we was on crash, don't you missions every day. That's where Boosie came in. It was a huge part of my younger life. You know what I'm saying? So it's always going to be a love there for Boosie. You feel me? I always got love for Boosie. Like a real brother. And he don't even know me. You know what I'm saying? But on the cool, I want y'all to understand this. This... These videos are being made because I want Boosie to understand what he looks like, how he is tearing himself down. 
like how you are bringing yourself down from being that person that everybody looked at as, you know, this is the one that gives game to the one where they like, man, this man be saying some crazy stuff. You're making yourself look bad, bro. You said you would have took him anywhere, but you let him sit on the shelf and you didn't prioritize him. And before he even came out and said that, I mentioned those things. And he came out and said it. Boosie is not prioritizing these artists. Only a few of these artists the, ro the world truly knows. You know, like a like a Lee Banks, like a B. Will, like Tootie Raw, which is his son. We knew him before he ever became an artist. Aviana, we knew her before she ever became an artist. You know, quick and money bags from that push right before he went to the pen. Like, it's only a few artists on here. Mo3, that, that was rainwater all the way. And Mo3's talent. You know what I'm saying? We, we know who... Uh, BBE AJ is. This is probably like the biggest name that we know of is right now besides Boosie Boy B. And that's the that's what we forgot as well. The Boosie Boys. You know what I'm saying? Boosie Boy Tay and all them Munchie. Yeah, Debo, all them. Yeah, we know who the who those dudes are. But that's more so from what they did on Instagram coming out talking. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, bro, you don't have that CEO talent, bro, because you don't know how to push them to that level. Like you can barely push yourself musically to that next level in these days and ages. Like this is a different time, Boosie, and I don't think you're keeping up with it as far as the music. I don't think you understand this time, bro. Now, as far as making yourself go viral and saying things, yeah, you know how to do that. You know how to do that because you a real nut. You know, you really are you really from the streets. You know what I'm saying? You really live that. So yo, yo, yo authenticity. It's going to make you go viral because you say what you mean and you mean what you say. You speak your mind and speak on how you feel in those moments. And people love that regardless of how they critique it. But the only thing I'm seeing is, man, a lot of stuff that you say can get yourself in trouble with these execs. A lot of stuff that you say make you make you look like, you know, you're delusional at times when you say stuff about being able to take Young Blue's career to the next level. And you couldn't. He did that on his own. Empire did that. That man knew he was a superstar and he bet on himself. And the fact that he gave you money should have been more than comparable. Like that, that should have been like, oh yeah, bro, it's cool. You gave me something. You know what I'm saying? And like you came out and you said that he tried to give you $2 million and you turned it down. So what is the point now? Like, what is the point? Is it just to bash the man and try to show that you got dominance over him? Because we didn't know. Like, I'm, I'm an avid Boosie supporter. I know every one of the artists... That Boosie didn't ever sign. I know every artist on this list because I've listened to every. There is not a song that I don't know from the time Boosie was a kid till now. I still listen to everything. I still listen to everything associated with Boosie. And that's the thing. I've never heard of Young Blue. I heard him come out on an interview and say that, but like I've never heard a song where he promoted him. So that's my thing, man. It's like, Boosie, I can't really take you seriously in this. And if you go to the comment section of these Vlad TV interviews talking about Young Blue, they are literally destroying him in the comment section. They are bashing this man, making man. If y'all go read some of the stuff that they are saying, that's why I keep telling y'all that he is hurting his career by coming out and saying this stuff. Don't be look at it from a lens of somebody who truly supports him and wants the best for him, not the lens of a fan. If you look at it from the lens of somebody who wants the best for him, then you'll see that the stuff that he's saying is not good. Yeah, we know Boosie Flash out. He known for that. Yeah, y'all don't got to go in there, the, the comment section and reiterate on that and explain that to me. I know. But at this point in time, this is not where you do it. See, when Boosie came out, that wasn't when social media was at its height. Now, everything that you do goes viral. Everything that you do gets critiqued. Everything that you do makes you look like... Um, let me be honest with you. Boosie, in 2022, his viralness is off of Boosie looking like he is this insane, delusional, ex-convict rapper who only raps about death, killing, drilling, and don't got no sense. You know what I'm saying? And that's not something that truly sells in the industry at like the hype. See, people want, in 2022, people want their feelings to be played on. Rappers who can relate to your feelings. Rappers who can speak a lot of pain. Because people's going through a lot right now. 
Nowadays, everybody going through something because the world is shifting. So people want stuff that relates to their pain. They don't want to be just amused all the time. And that's the thing, like they're laughing at Boosie, not with Boosie. They are laughing at him. You know what I'm saying? And I think he got it confused where he thinks like they are laughing with him. No, they not, big bro. If you understood the consensus and how they truly feel, like they feel like you are the clown in the circus right now. And I hate to be the one to say it, but somebody got to say it. You know, but it's all love for Boosie, man. Like all love for Boosie, man. Like I'm telling you, man, if a Boosie album drop right now, I'm going to buy it. And that's just what it is, man. And that's how much of a supporter I am. So I don't never want y'all to get that twisted. Everything that I say about him comes from a place of love. Complete, genuine love, man. Y'all don't even understand. Boosie is Boosie is, is a legend, a true legend in my eyes. True legend. Him, Nipsey, Mozzie, them are my three true legends in my eyes. You know what I'm saying? Can't nobody tell me otherwise. Can't nobody tell me nothing about Boosie. I can only tell myself something about Boosie. Can't nobody tell me nothing. You feel me? So I don't even want to hear it. You know, when y'all say comments about that, I don't even read them. Because the, the thing is, like, you can't tell me what I'm saying or how I'm coming off. You know, I'm going to tell you exactly what I mean, and I'm, I'm going to tell you exactly how I'm saying it. All you got to do is listen. But that's besides the fact. I'm done with that situation. I done ran this song. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this entire situation. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell icon and turn post notifications on all. That way you will be notified every time we drop a video, as well as dropping a comment and share. That way this video will be recommended to a lot more people. And y'all already know, all praise be to the most high. Peace and blessings, kings and queens. With that being said, I'm out. Believe it up, get up, get up, get up.